Hi, this is Katie Duzik with OWEB. Today we're going to talk about how to submit a final payment request. Similar to first requests, final requests have specific information required that's different than other requests. Please understand what's required for each grant agreement and allow for extra time to compile the necessary materials. In planning ahead for submitting the final payment request for a grant, be sure to first check your grant agreement for any conditions of agreement related to a final fund request. Standard documentation required for your grant type can be found throughout the agreement, and conditions unique to your project are often found in Exhibit B. Some of the common requirements with a final fund request include the final expenditure tracking sheet. You must submit a complete tracking sheet that documents all OEB expenses occurred with the grant. This tracking sheet serves as the final record of the grant's expenses, so it's important that all of the expenses are contained here. Please add the indirect costs to the tracking sheet, as well as the other category costs. Again, we want a complete record of the grant spending. Match form for final report. Final match for the project can be documented in one of two ways. You will have the opportunity to fill out the online form when doing your project completion report on AUGMIS. We also have a paper form which you can download and fill out. You do not need to do both. Budget Amendment If you require a budget amendment to close out the financials on your grant, you must submit a budget amendment form along with the final request. As a reminder, budget amendments are required if the change is more than 25% of any affected category or greater than $5,000. For more information, please see our video entitled How to Prepare a Budget Amendment. Project Completion Report and Photos Before OWEB staff can process your final request, you must have an approved Project Completion Report, which includes all final post-project photos. Reports must be submitted online via AUGMIS. Project Completion Report details can be found in your grant agreement, commonly in Exhibit C. Federal Lobbying and Litigation Certificate If your grant was funded through a federal source, you must submit a signed Federal Lobbying and Litigation Certificate form. To find out if your grant was federally funded, check the bottom of the first page of your grant agreement under Fund Source. Many of the forms I just mentioned can be found on our website. To find the forms, visit our homepage and see the Manage Your Grant column. Click on Forms. Scroll down to the bottom lower left-hand corner of the page, and here you can find the Budget Change Request Form, the Expense Tracking Spreadsheet, the Federal Lobbying and Litigation Certificate, the Final Total Project Funding Match Form, as well as the Request for Release of Funds Form, which needs to be completed with all types of requests. Metrics and Reporting for restoration and water acquisition projects, OWEB staff need to verify that information has been reported to the Oregon Watershed Restoration Inventory. For other types of grants, you must fill out separate types of metrics forms specific to each type of grant. To complete the reporting requirements for your grant, please visit our website. From the home page under the Manage Your Grant column, click on Reporting Requirements. Here, on the right-hand side of the page, you can find forms that have specific forms for different final metrics requirements, and you can also find a link to both the Project Completion Reporting on AUGMIS, as well as the OWRI page. To enter in information to the Watershed Restoration Inventory, click on the OWRI page, click on Report Your Project Here, and a link to the online reporting tool will open up. From here, you may enter the OWRI system and complete the required information. When you are ready to submit your materials, there are two ways to do so. You can upload them to our online grant management system as part of the final reporting online, or you can submit directly with the payment request. Please remember that we cannot pay requests without all the necessary materials. There are some other important things to note when preparing your final request. Remember that the final reporting and the financials are due 60 days after the close of your grant, and that we cannot reimburse for expenses incurred after the grant end date. There are two parts to closing out a grant, project completion reporting and fiscal review. 
OWEB staff need to review and approve both aspects before a grant can be closed and the final payment made. Please plan accordingly to allow extra time for this final review process and payment. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, please contact Tara or Leilani or your OWEB project manager.